Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. Today I'm going to do a test and a review of a couple of products that I just purchased for my own use. What I have here is the Kelly Kettle. I have two different sizes. This is the Trekker Kettle. The Trekker Kettle is, for, is perfect for uh, individuals. I got this because a lot of times I go camping by myself and I don't want to carry a larger kettle. This kettle, the um, Trekker model, is 10.6 uh, 10, 10 inches tall and it has a capacity of half a liter or 2.4 cups. Now then when, for when we go camping with our entire family I got the larger kettle. The larger kettle is called the Base Camp. It is 13 inches tall and it holds one and a half liters or three times as much water as the Trekker uh, which is uh, 6.3 cups. And the great thing about the, um, the uh, Kelly Kettle is it allows you to use natural fuel so when you're traveling you do not have to carry a fuel source. Uh, it uses uh, twigs, uh, sticks, leaves, and things like that. Um, and we're going to show that in just a minute. Um, actually there are three parts to each one of these. I got the entire Kelly uh, uh, Kettle kit which includes three items. This is the uh, pot support. This is the cook set. Um, this is the cook set for the um, larger uh, base camp kettle. And I also got a pot support and a uh, cook set. This cook set is smaller and it is specifically for the uh, Trekker kettle. Now there's also a, a medium size uh, Kelly kettle that's uh, right in between these two as far as the size is concerned. Uh, but the medium size one is called the uh, Scout. Uh, and it only comes in aluminum and I like stainless steel because it's uh, durable, lasts longer and it uh, releases less toxins into your water. Uh, so I got the uh, stainless steel type. Both of these are stainless steel. Um, the uh, base cap only comes in aluminum but these two come in either aluminum or stainless steel. And the stainless steel does cost uh, a little bit more, but uh, this is a product that will last a lifetime and you can actually pass down to uh, future generations. And so I think it, pay, it pays to pay a little bit extra to get the stainless steel. Now you can, like, as I mentioned, order these uh, separately, but I found out that when you order it as an entire kit, it is considerably cheaper. And I bought these on uh, Amazon.com and I'm going to leave a link right down here in the bottom of this video. Um, I'm going to leave a link where you can click where you can click on to go to the Amazon page uh, for one of these uh, Kelly kettles. Okay, what we're going to do next is I'm going to open the boxes and we're going to look at the contents and uh, and explore and use our Kelly kettles. Now this is what you will find inside the box. Uh, they're put together uh, as you would put them together to use them. Um, now each one comes with its own little manual. And the Kelly Kettle comes with a uh, nice uh, two-year warranty. And it comes with these uh, appropriately sized carrying cases. All right, let's look at the smaller Kelly Kettle first. This is the Trekker model. I put everything in here. Here's a little pot support. Now, one thing I do is I, I keep this little uh, packet that the pot support comes in because I don't like when I'm carrying things, especially when I'm backpacking, I don't like carrying something that's clanging around a lot. And so I cushion uh, metal parts so that they don't move around, clang around. So this little uh, pot packet it comes in um, serves as a very nice little carrying uh, pouch. All right, this is the support, the pot support. Uh, each time you use it, you'll put it together like this. All right, here's the Trekker model. Again, I, I like to cushion things so that they don't cling around a lot. This right here came with the cook set. It's a handle. Now this, if you just order the Kelly kettle by itself, this is what you get right here. All right, you get the, uh, the fire base and the Kelly kettle. Now when you order the pot support, of course, you get this. And when you order the cook set, this is what you get. The stainless steel cook set. The, the lid functions as a frying pan. 
here's a nice little handle to pick the items up when they are hot and here is the grill that comes with the cook set and what you can do is uh, when you get your uh, your hot um, coals in here you can remove this you can put the grill on and you can grill on the fire base if you choose to now the Kelly kettle looks like it's hollow but it is it is actually this part functions as a chimney uh, it is a double walled container and the water goes in here all right, and the way the Kelly kettle works is using the chimney effect. Now, whenever you put this on the heat, you always want to take off the stopper. You never want to heat it unless there's water in the container here. All right, what happens is as the, the smoke and the heat rises, it creates a chimney effect, which creates a draft, which pulls air in here. And burns the uh, material in here and uh, by using this chimney effect um, it burns uh, very very uh, efficiently and very hot the uh, cook set fits right in the base everything fits right in the Kelly kettle and back in the bag for backpacking. All right, now this is the way you use the pot support. You have your water in here again, and the Kelly kettle boils water in a, a very short period of time. But if you also want to use this to cook on top because it has fire and heat coming out of the chimney here, you put the pot support in there, and then you can use this pot here to cook or to boil water with or the lid which functions as a frying pan okay now let's look this is the trekker model which I, I consider appropriate for uh, one person and this, this is also small and lightweight enough to where you can take this in your backpack with you when you're traveling by yourself. All right, now here's what I call the family model, the base camp. This is the one that I got to use when I am go camping with the family. Here again, I have the pot support in there. Here is the base. Here is the cook set specifically for the larger model. Again, it fits right in the base for easy transport. Here is the handle for handling the frying pan or the pot when they're hot. Here is the larger grid for the larger kettle for when you want to use this for grilling with. Now th these again are optional accessories which you get. Th this comes with the cook set. Uh, you get the optional accessories if you choose the complete kit. And here is the large, I call the family size uh, Kelly kettle. Again you have your pot support puts together like this. Pot support goes in the top. And there's a larger pot with the lid slash frying pan. Now again, anytime you're using the Kelly kettle, you want to make sure that this is out. The stopper is out. The stopper is just for transport. And you all, uh, always want to have water in the Kelly kettle when you are burning it. And the Kelly kettle also functions as a way to carry additional water. When you're traveling, you can fill this container with water. That's what the stopper is for. 
and then when you get to where you're going and you get ready to use it you can gather some sticks put it in here put the chimney on light it take the stopper out of course light it get the fire going and it boils the water in this double walled container and then of course you can also cook on top if you have the optional uh, cook set now what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually do a demonstration where I'm going to boil water in my Kelly kettles. Now I'm going to demonstrate my magnesium fire starter. Uh, this particular one has a nice little belt loop so that you can carry it on your belt. Uh, now this is an essential item that all preppers and survivalists should have. This is a nice uh, deluxe model that contains a thermometer in it. I don't really see much need in the thermometer. I can tell when it's hot or when it's cold. Uh, but it also has a little compass in the top which can come in handy in the uh, compass in, in uh, water. Uh, but this is a magnesium fire starter. This is the magnesium portion. This is the uh, spark maker. And this is just a little piece of a hacksaw that came with it and what you do is you hold the uh, striker at a 45 degree angle like that and strike down and strike down like you would strike a match but first of all what you do is you shave off some magnesium filings. I'm going to demonstrate on this uh, foil here. You take the uh, the blade and you shave magnesium off of the magnesium handle. Magnesium is a highly flammable metal. It burns very 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 hot. It even burns I have a little bit of a breeze here. It's best to do this when you're protected from the wind. But anyway, you can see my magnesium filings right there. All right, and then you put these on the object, the wood that you want to light. All right, then you turn it over to the striker side, holding at a 45 degree angle. You light the magnesium like this. I've gathered some sticks and twigs and stuff here. I've put it in the base of my Kelly kettles. Here's the smaller trucker version. I put some twigs in there and put a leaf on top for the magnesium filings. All right, I've already put filled the uh, Kelly kettle full of water up to the rim here. Here's the larger base camp model. I fill this full of water up to the rim. Here's the uh, fire base. I put twigs in there and a leaf on top to hold the magnesium filings. And let's see if we can get this thing lit. kind of hard to do this at this angle with the camera there this takes a little practice Okay, as you can see, it's burning very hot. That's the chimney effect. The rising heat 
causes a draft pulling air in the bottom. All right, then you can feed this thing by dropping combustible material in the chimney. And there's the trekker, the smaller Kelly kettle. It took about five minutes to boil water in this Kelly kettle. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.